Hello, it's Mrs. C here. Today I'm reading Willie and the Cloud by Anthony Brown. It all began on a warm, sunny day when Willie decided to go to the park. There wasn't a cloud in the sky when he set off. Well, just a little tiny one. That's a bit annoying, he thought. The clouds seem to be following him. What's going on? I think it's gone. Yes, it has gone. Phew. But Willie was wrong. At the park, everyone seemed to be having great fun. Willie just shivered. So he went home. Why was the cloud following him? What could he do? Hello, said Willie. Is that the police? Yes, sir. How can I help? Well, well, you see, I'm, I'm being followed. I see, sir. Who by? Can you give me a description? Uh, well, that's a bit difficult. It's, it's a cloud. You're being followed by a cloud, sir? Yes, a big cloud. Willie heard the horrible sound of laughing policemen. Oh dear, he said and put down the phone. This cloud is awful, thought Willie. How can I get rid of it? The room was getting darker and darker, so he turned on the light and closed the curtains. After a couple of hours, Willie nervously peeped out of the window. Fantastic! It's gone! he shouted. But he was wrong. What's wrong with me? It's only a cloud. Willie felt miserable. The house was becoming very hot. He could hardly breathe. There seemed to be no air. He heard loud rumbling noises outside and slowly he began to feel angry. Eventually, he could stand it no longer. He rushed outside. I've had enough. You're nothing but a cloud made of tiny little droplets of water and air. Go away. Everything went quiet. What was happening? Was the cloud crying? It felt rather wonderful. The soft, cool rain was delicious. Willie felt like singing and even dancing. After a while, the rain stopped and the sun came out. I think I'll try the park again, thought Willie. And this time, when he got there, everyone was happy. What a nice ending. Have you ever had a cloudy day? I'll see you next time.